Joining us now, first on CNBC interview, Delta CEO Ed Bastian, and of course, our own Phil LeBeau. Phil. Sarah, thank you very much. Ed, Sarah gave the news right off the top there. Free Wi-Fi in your domestic uh, route network. Um, basically, starting this year, by the end of the year, you expect to have most of your, your planes there. What's the idea behind this, As, aside from improving the passenger experience? Well, the main, the main idea is to improve the pas passenger experience. And when you think about what we do for a living, is that we connect people. We connect the world. However, it's always dawned on us is that the, the part of the world that's not connected is the sky. And the quality of the Wi-Fi that exists today in this world is, is not good. And there's a lot of reasons why. But Delta, we've been investing. We've invested over a billion dollars in the last three years alone to create this opportunity to have free Wi-Fi. It'll be free. It'll be fast. It'll be available to all. Yes, you have to uh, have a SkyMiles account to access it, which is free as well. But it's going to be a game changer. And we'll have it on our domestic fleet with 80 percent starting the 1st of February. And we're, every week goes by, we'll have international uh, rolled out next year, uh, regionals next year. So it'll be 100 percent by the end of 24 across every Delta flight, every seat in the sky. I mentioned this to a few people, and the first thing they said is, well, look, these guys are in the business of making money on ancillary revenue. Isn't this going to hurt them if people are not going to have to pay for Wi-Fi? You're of the belief, though, that this essentially opens up so many more opportunities, correct? This creates loyalty. You know, it creates a better experience for customers. There'll be one more reason why customers will choose Delta as they look to fly. And in addition to that, we're going to have a, a new product, which we also announced this morning, called Delta Sync, mm -hmm. where we're bringing partners in. So we announced that we got Paramount Plus joining us. we got T-Mobile joining us. We have American Express joining us on, the, on this launch. And that umbrella package will give customers opportunities to receive exclusive content, exclusive offers, and build, potential build new revenue relationships, sources. and potential revenue sources as well. So I've always believed that Wi-Fi has to be free. It was basic to, to a customer, but it has to work. And by the way, it also has to work on sitting on a reliable foundation of quality service and on-time delivery of product, which our people do better than anyone. Ed, Sarah's got a question for you. Sarah? Hi, Ed. Sarah Eisen here in, in New York. Beyond today's announcement, just, just curious for a, a flavor of what's happening with demand. We know leisure's been super strong. Is that still the case? And, and have you seen any softening in business? Well, Sarah, we are in a, a bit of a quiet period because we have our earnings we're announcing next week. So I can't give you too much uh, current color other than to tell you that, as you saw during the holidays, demand was very, very strong. So no, no, no signs of any letdown. What about labor shortages? Has that been dealt with? We saw the, the problems with, with Southwest after the, after the storms, getting people around, supply issues, computer issues. I'm curious what, what you're dealing with on that front. Well, Delta, we, we've got the staff we need. We're continuing to hire. We're, we're hiring flight attendants. We're hiring pilots. We're hiring mechanics still for some growth coming into 23. But uh, the team at Delta did a really good job during the holiday period. I was very proud of them. It was a very difficult set of conditions that they were operating in, and they got customers where they needed to go. Ed, China is such a big part of your business. Obviously, things have changed over the last three or four years, but now you have the Chinese government opening up. Um, what do you expect, just in a broad sense, happens over the next year when it comes to demand and traffic to and from China? I think you're going to see the same thing happen in China that you've seen in every country as, as countries have opened up. You're going to see an enormous amount of demand for travel, you know, leaving the country, and as well as a lar large number of people wanting to get into the country. Obviously, China is a little complicated given their, they've had a little different uh, policy towards protecting COVID. We'll have to see how it rolls out over the next uh, three to six months. But we're expecting, certainly in the back half of 23, some pretty strong Chinese demand. And as you mentioned, this is, well, the Wi-Fi is free most quickly here and domestic flights. Internationally, that's going to roll out over time, correct? Yeah, so it'll be, it, it starts February the 1st. 80% of our U.S. domestic mainline fleet will have it on board. Every week that goes by, we'll have more. International will start next summer, summer of 24, be 100% rolled out across every fleet that we have, every product category we have by the end of next year. Ed Bastian, CEO of Delta Airlines. Uh, how do you like Vegas for consumer electronics? I, I, I know. It's, it's, it's great to be back. It's it, great to be live. The, the, it, the, the buzz is phenomenal. And it's crowded. It's Again, crowded. it's crowded. I love it. <laughs> Love-hate relationship with the crowds here at Consumer Electronics <laughs> Show. Guys, we'll send it back to you.